All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for those of you who are joining us. Uh, we are very happy that you are uh, able to join this live show. Uh, thank you very much uh, for tuning in. I want to start by saying uh, those of you who are now joining, uh, if possible, please uh, share the video. Share it as widely as possible. Share it on WhatsApp group. Share it on uh, groups of the that you are a member in. Share it on your wall. Uh, we want this message to reach as many South Sudanese people as possible. Uh, as you know, uh, we have been uh, doing this now for several weeks, and we will continue doing this uh, for as long as necessary to make sure that the people of South Sudan are educated. Those who don't understand what we are doing, maybe one day, one time, they will understand that what we are doing is really the civic education. We want to be able to educate our people. So thank you, those of you who are joining. Uh, please, uh, if the volume is uh, okay, uh, let us know. Uh, if we need to adjust the volume, also let us know. Uh, but I hope that uh, the message is very clear. If it is clear, let us know that everything is clear. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, today, I will be talking both in English and Dinka, because the message I'm going to share is very important. This video is going to be very short. Uh, I hope it will not reach uh, like the other uh, previous videos that went uh, over 30 minutes. Uh, some of them went to 50 minutes to one hour. We hope that this message would be, would be very short. And we want it uh, to be short because we know that our people are in Juba. And because of the economic crisis and poverty to which the government in South Sudan have subjected them, they do not have uh, money to buy uh, sufficient bundles. And today, because it is Sunday, we hope that you will take advantage of the MTN uh, bundle and be able to listen to this uh, broadcast uh, for the entirety of the duration of the show. Uh, so today, we are going to talk both in Dinka and English, because this message, uh, I wanted to, uh, to be very clear, and I want uh, people who don't understand English, especially from the Dinka community, uh, those who still believe that they want to support Salva Kiir, I want them to be able to hear it in the language that they understand. Um, so, to my channel, well, cool. We will jam both in English. We talk Monjang. We will jam talk Monjang because of Korku. Koi win che ping talk English. Bigger the young ping because then they have very important capital we address. Ku jamme achi be be rapai. We a jam check. We a jam thin core. Uh, ko really koi kwanto juba ku South Sudan koi to uh, anywhere in South Sudan koi to akun kwa juk ku anywhere to koi tin we had bigger ping tong monjang bi dated yung wulwe yung jam and tin yakula. So I'm going to make sure that I use the both languages, English and Dinka. Let me start first by saying this in English. You know, my people, uh, there is something that I've been hearing. You know, we, we appreciate, by the way, those of you who comment uh, on our videos, those of you who write to us messages, we appreciate this. Even those who don't agree with us, we appreciate it because you have an op uh, opinion, and that opinion is very important. Uh, we appreciate you expressing yourself because that is the essence of democracy. We want people of South Sudan to be able to express themselves, unlike the situation to which the president have subjected them, where people are disappeared simply because they say something that the president doesn't agree with it. We are different. We are people that appreciate opinion because we have opinions. We are not afraid to share our opinions, and therefore we encourage others to share their own uh, opinions. So please, uh, even if you disagree with us, we encourage you to make your opinions known uh, share the video, write whatever you think you want to write, that is your right. And we are here to make sure that your rights are protected. That is the essence of what we are fighting for. But there is a point that I want to make clear. Some of you have been saying that Salva Kiir, the president of South Sudan, is an elder, and therefore the elder should not be attacked, that the elder should not be uh, you know, people should not attack the elder. It should be treated with respect because he's an elder. I want to make something extremely very clear to you. An elder 
is not a politician. He's not somebody who is in the politics. When Salva Kiir go to represent South Sudan, do you ever hear him being introduced as the elder of South Sudan? Have you ever heard something, anybody said that? That here come the elder of South Sudan. He is not there as an elder. He is there as the president of the Republic of South Sudan. And therefore, the so-called elder is meaningless. An elder, in according to our culture, and according to our tradition, is someone who has retired, someone who is there to observe the norms and the values of society. When you have someone who is a political leader, who is selling the oil and the resources of the country and corrupting them, someone who is there arming communities so that they can fight and kill one another, as is the case in Warap. Look at what is happening between Apung Girithik and Marial Wau. Where do you think those weapons come from? If there is a weapon uh, factory in Apung Girithik, if there is a weapon factory in, in Wau where those people make weapons, is there a community in South Sudan that buy weapons? Where do you think those weapons come from? When you have somebody who is arming the communities of South Sudan and inciting them to kill one another, that person, you cannot come and tell me, is an elder. Someone who is killing young people of South Sudan. You know very well what happened to Isaiah Abraham. You know what happened to Dong Samuel. You know what happened to Agri Idris. You know what happened to Karbino Wola Gok. Those people were murdered. Do you believe that this is an elder? Somebody who killed the, the next generation? Is this an elder? You cannot come and tell us so and so is an elder. If he's an elder, let him retire from politics. An elder is someone who is distinguished, who is exemplifying the norms of the society. Not someone who is destroying the country. Someone who does not even care about the image of his own people. You know what happened in Nairobi last time at the funeral of, of Moe Kibaki. You know what happened last time in Terekeka or was it Goliath? You know what happened when the national anthem was flooded. You know very well what happened in Arusha when you couldn't even remember the names of the country. You come and tell us that somebody is an elder? Here is an elder. An elder is someone like Georgi Kongurao. Georgi Kongur, after he retired from politics, he stayed away from all this nonsense. He's someone that is revered, is respected. Whatever he did during his time, you don't see anybody talking about it. Because why? He has retired. He is a distinguished person. An elder is someone like Uncle Bonamalwal. Bonamalwal, he was a distinguished politician in South Sudan, one of the finest that this country has ever seen. He only returned during the national dialogue because he wanted to help his people. That is an elder. An elder is someone like Uncle Joseph Lago. He fought a brave war during a Nyanya war. He implemented the peace. And then, now, he's still there, he's alive, but he has retired from the politics of South Sudan. You don't see him coming to divide the people. That is an elder. An elder is someone like Uncle uh, Abel Alier. And Belalier is an elder. Those are an elder. But when you have someone like Salvakir, who is a political leader, who is talking about running an, in the election, I want you to know that this guy is an opponent. He's not an elder. He's an opponent. He's a political opponent. And as a political opponent, we who are opposed to him are going to be using whatever way we can to make sure that he's removed from power. That is what we are going to be doing. So you cannot come and tell us that there is an elder. Those of you who think that he is your elder, take him to Akun. Eh? Take him, make him uh, mayor of Akun. You will not see us coming to talk about him. But as long as he is the president of the Republic of South Sudan, selling our resources in advance, the way that the oil has been sold in advance, uh, selling our water to Egypt so that our country become a desert, destroying the people of South Sudan, by arming communities so that they fight each other. You cannot come and tell us that so and so is an elder. So I want you to remove this thing from your head. There is no such a thing as an elder. An elder is someone who is distinguished, somebody who has removed themselves from the politics of the day. But anyone that remain in a political arena 
is a political opponent because there will be people that are opposed to him. If I run today for presidency, I'm going to be opposed to Salva Kiir. I will be running and challenging him as an opponent. You cannot come and tell me that he's an elder. He's a political opponent. That is it. And by the way, there is nowhere in the, in the world where an opponent determines how those who are opposed to him should be fighting him. Is there in any society where an opponent decides how those who are opposed to him should be fighting him? When you see a fight, when you fight with somebody, does the person we are, who, who you are fighting with determine how long you are going to be fighting him and how you are going to be fighting him? When you fight, if there is a fight, people, they box each other, they kick each other, they bite each other. Sometimes they take stick and they hit each other in the head. They take uh, spears, they spear each other, and even eventually it goes to guns. That is a fight. Any tool is used to make sure that you harm your opponent. It's not up to the opponent to decide what instrument you are going to use to wage your war against them. When Hamas attacked Israel, did you see them firing missiles? They did not have fired a missile. But they cannot now determine how Israel is going to react and what kind of weapon that Israel is going to use because the war has already broken out. And you use whatever tool that you can use to make sure you do a damage to your opponent. So I want you people to understand that Salva Kiir is our opponent. Those of us who are opposed to him, we see him as an opponent. We see him as a political opponent, not as an elder. An elder is not someone who will destroy the society. I gave you already the example of the elders. And there is nobody who can come and determine how we are going to fight him or whatever tool we will use. We will use whatever tool that we want to use. Whatever tool that we believe is effective to take him down, that is the tool we are going to use. And we are not going to listen to all kinds of nonsense that people are telling us. So I want that to be very clear. Let me say it again in Tongwanjang so that those of you can understand it. jam. Kulwe <laughs> Or koi wune yu ke ye ne rang kene Ache rana wun lui do la masalu tamam Ache le biya le wong lwe ke elda Awu ke randit Ache randit E politician Ku politician anang politician a wun Ni aren Kwa anang politician wun chi wujye en Ku wo Ku le kune rang kaj Kachi lwe liyong yene rang koi kene Tonga mwanjang E rang koi kene randit Yin kaj wun e rang Because e rang e rang kaj wek against E rang wibi nya e tuchit ran <laughs> Ding, 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 Pasi ya sa baloi wana yene di. Kudu huna wini en binti yam menge ke ye loi. Kwa chinti ye loi tindi chi tong rom. Rana win chi we rom. Yene a yene ye luel. E yi nimbe tong do ba ema vruba tore le. Ye tong tore le. Amu yene tong rom. Tong guji rom makaji rom. Ana ngej buko yike nyin mang. Kwa ya gurut. Kwa ya weirut. Kena kairot. Kwa ya yub gandim. E chi tong benten. Kwa tong bi ke. Ye nang deng. Kwa deng basen. A chi ran ter we gen ye luel. E yong yene tong tore le. Kone a ping wendong windi ji wunda wear ping a le wunda kai kije be a di a wule ga jaka ji wunti ni je be a di a wule ga jaka ya jaka mo ni re ju a ti e kara ye me ndi wule le betong tora di ye gi a wule ga kien ke riel ke be la di a wule le jaka wule ye tong wule le ye wule le betong tora di 
So you cannot come and tell us. Koi jam, we will get around it. Young and Biar, Yen Tong Koi thought. Tong Yen Athar last of the Dian Yathar and nothing. I care up to Kir. I will support as a Kir. A Kebe, I decide. Yea, how? I will be Tongi, but already want a Kir my added. Tong Yathar want a Kir my added. Last of Dulian anything, Banty him then. Kia Dulian a Kir, a young thing, or Koi win Koi a Kir, a Kebe, I will be a Betong the Thorele. Young I will yen around there where Tong Yen a decide. Betong Thorady. Matong a Jerom, Rajatong Romacoya Jerom, took Tinde, a well with it. The point I can't bag a ping. Rand it. A ranchy man a Georgi Congora rope. Georgi Congora rope, a chill on the loy Akume. Kitchen loy pan, a junook, kitchen loy juniba Sudan, a chill loy, a wine as a toker, local loy pande. Could you ping? Rand it, a ranchy man, uncle Bonamalwal. Bonamalwal, a madut. A chitaja politician, time as a pay. Quite a boy. A wine. Kedum rodir de, aje kadang kau itu aku mai dengan mana cak, orang jauh cak jauh tuan diri kiat, na cak orang kaki, aji bawa malu malu where where real, ku bawa malu malu cak ke tinggal nong kelu el, kaki siasat di Jumbo Sudan, yango, because aji orang gamdir, orang yojo londe aji loy, kiji loy aji ek fire, aji bawa be tok be mio aji wu, be be jam, aji kau win aji kau nuan riok bay aji jam, aji lu el ke randi, randi de tu no. Randy the winner could take it. Randy the winner by right. Randy the ranchy man of Bonamara. Randy the ranchy man Angelo Beda. Randy the ranchy man Uncle Joseph Lago. And get around it. But Anto may done it. May done it. CSA can walk then. A ran a CSA. Who can both walk a CSA loy. Young and will lay a CSA. I can go around and will. Physical body, Rana wouldn't you? Rana Joe Chatter Tondi the Kiet. Yet will get you will. My part of Biabin and an eight physical loy. But that then cup real group and then give a core a bandit. Real attack and then give a core a bandit. Chebajori, Jerry Timin. I just queen, King Jay, where took Yachol, Rup, Rup, Kajo, Queen, your queen. Can I chill well, well, I chill well, but you will let it. My ran a winner to a ban. Yako ting man a koi pole basketball. Then cool to wear ran, counting a medana basketball. Ran to tame chuk. Kay pole NBA. Young. Kay koi chicka tam chuk elu. Yeah, because that is not the place for them. I then create a ban a yin nang musawa. Then cool to wear ran to chor ting. Kay kupolo kura get them. Kalu with a koji chor. But they are there. But I can get ting a medana kura get them a yke pole. You know where Ran Ran a win walking dead man. Yaga la bay kulwel ke be ya bany a juniba Sudan. Kuna alwin ke we nuan kwa kulwel ra kadang ke chwa randi. Ma ye randi ke jarke. Lair ka kun. Lair ke. Lair ke. Lair ke. Kwa juk. Ki ran baka pen kadang ke lwele ya guap. Den kul jwe kon pen ke ran. E chwa joji kongo ra rob lui attack by anybody. Den kul jwe kon pen ke bwana malwa lui attack by anybody. The uncle who can't pin can call Joseph Lago. Who is attacked by anybody? Why? Because a chironya e kaka e sae. Loi loi de na chiku loi ta chelo. Kuka chinyu. Kuna e ranto ngo de me dana si e sae je kula. Chima yene juo loi kaji endos. Ma e endos e endos kula ngo loi alai e loi loi chulu e endos kula koi le koi kenga. Ma la koi kenga koi chie koi. Koi chie koi kapi ngo loi ma biki e ke tiam ma biki loi. Inga kebro loi medan si esai. You cannot come buleh walk and engage your randit. Nae randit leher ke akun leher ke. Kira ambak ke pengen langgel level kan game ya gua pak akun. So kau kene where but bro deal ping berdeh deh. It's very important for people to understand that point. Yeah, very important for people to understand. You cannot come and tell us there is an elder. You remember last time when when a puk and a gua were fighting. He went to his village and he went and told uh, those of a book and a walk, why are you, my people, why are you fighting each other? If you want to fight, here is nowhere, here is nowhere, why don't you go and fight nowhere? You can come and tell us that is an elder? When uh, Murle killed uh, people in, 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 in Jongule, in Bor area, he came and told the Bor people, why are you running away and you have a spear in your hand? But you turn around and you spear. Is that an elder? Is that even an elder? Can you tell us this is an elder? 
someone who is selling the oil, who is giving the resources of the country to a few individuals. You come and tell us this an elder, and you, the, uh, the, 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 the psychopaths of, uh, of Kir, you come and you want to tell us how we should be uh, dealing with Kir. Why don't you go and talk to Kir? If he's an elder, then take him out. Take him to your village. Yeah? Nobody, you will come and see him, talk to him in the village. But if he is remaining there as the president of South Sudan, walking like a dead man and embarrassing the people of South Sudan, we are not going to accept that one. And we are going to call that out. Huh? We are going to call that out. So, my people, this is very important. You cannot come and call check up for the right circuit. Look at engage all elder. What is an elder? This is a, this is a complete nonsense. So that point need to be made clear. This guy is a political guy in the arena. And he's in an arena with those of us who are also in the political arena. We are going to wrestle with him and we are going to use whatever means possible to take him down. That is it. There is nothing else that we need to hear from uh, all these matograp. That point need to be made clear. Now, let me come to the point that I want to make. I want to talk to the members of the organized forces the members of the military, the members of the police, the members of the national security. You people, you have not received your salary since July. The money you receive is not even enough. It cannot feed your families. It cannot buy anything. It cannot buy a sack of sorghum for you to uh, feed your children. It cannot put roof over your head. You are not there being used to defend the country. You are not wearing your uniform or carrying your guns because you are defending the Republic of South Sudan. No. Look at our borders. What is happening to the borders? The borders of, uh, of South Sudan with Kenya is being taken every day by Kenya. Kenya is annexing our territory. We don't see you doing anything. Where are you at the border? Look at the border of South Sudan with Uganda. Every single time, Uganda is encroaching into our country. Have we ever heard that the SPDF had an issue with the UPDF at the border? No. You are not there. Look at our border with Sudan. The Abia territory. Abia territory is not even in the discussion anymore. And it's our land. It's our land. It's our land. Abia is our land. It's our territory. Why is Abia not part of our discussion? Mile 14. Mile 14. Mile 14 is being taken by the northern Sudan. All the territories of South Sudan, even Congo, is even encroaching our territory. Where is the military? Where are you guys? Huh? You have become only a force for protecting Salvakir and Koraptis who are in Juba. That is it. But many of us, we believe in you. We believe that you people, you are our army. Every single day we talk about you. We want to make sure that you receive your salaries, that the military is professionalized, so that the military can defend the people of South Sudan, so that the military can defend the sovereignty of South Sudan, the republic of South Sudan, the national interests of South Sudan. That is your responsibility. The police, you are supposed to make sure there is order in South Sudan, that the laws are followed, that we have law-abiding citizens. But you are commanded by corruptees, people that are selling the country, people that are selling the resources of the, of the country. Look, everywhere in Juba, most of the shops, even the petty shops in the neighborhood, they are owned by Darfurians. They are not owned by South Sudanese people. They are owned by Darfurians. Look, what is happening with the water? Ethiopian, they are the one getting the water from the Nile to come and sell it to the people of South Sudan. Our own water. Is, going to, is being sold to us by Ethiopia. What is happening with the hotels? Eritrean, Ethiopian, and Lebanese are the ones controlling it. The entire economy of the country is controlled by the foreigners. This is the country? This is the country that you think that this is the country that belongs to South Sudan? This is not a country, uh, my, my people. You people are failing people of South Sudan. Instead of being a tool of liberation, of empowering them, so that the people of South Sudan are empowered, so that they can claim their country, so that they can build their country, you are being used to make sure that these people are suppressed. 
Do you see that as a purpose for you to wear a uniform? You see people moving around uniform. They put their, you know, ranks and whatever. No. Please. This is not. You people, you are supposed to be there for the country. And the country is being destroyed by one individual. One individual. Every, each one of you that travel around the world, you know what the, everybody in the world is saying. They are asking. This country, South Sudan, the youngest country in Africa, country that was born after sacrifice of millions of citizens of South Sudan, people that are brave, people that have never been polluted by the outside world. How is it that they are being led by this weak, corrupt, incompetent leader? This is the question that people are being asked all the time. Any one of you that travel, even those of you in the military, ask the guys who came from Congo, the, 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 the forces that were now just uh, uh, lifted back. They are being asked by their colleagues in the East African forces. How is it that your country is being run by this guy who does not even know the name of his own colleagues in the region? Hmm? Museveni last time even brought soldiers to come and keep him in power when the I.O. was almost about to run Juba over. He doesn't even remember the name of Museveni. He doesn't even remember the name of William Ruto. You remember last time he called William Ruto, Madame Ruto. So, is this the, your leader? This is the leader that you want to keep on telling us this is the leader of, of South Sudan? My people, we have to make sure that we live up to the expectation. Our, our own our ex expectation, what we expect of ourselves. We want this country to, to succeed. This country was not liberated so that it can be run to the ground. That is not the reason why this country was liberated. This country was liberated so that the people of South Sudan can have a new beginning. So that the young people of South Sudan will have hope. That, that is the reason why millions of people died. is so that people of South Sudan will have hope. So those of you who are afraid of Salfakir, if you are afraid of him, yes, we understand. It's not easy. Not everyone has the courage to take on this regime. It's a ruthless regime. We know. Some of us have suffered. We lost good friends who have died in the struggle to liberate South Sudan. They are good friends and they are loved. Their families are suffering today. We know. So it's not easy. So if you have become afraid, then stay out of this. This is not a struggle for weak-hearted people. It's a struggle for those who really want change. Those who want change. These are the people that are struggling for a better South Sudan. It's not for everyone. Who said that you people need to be in the struggle? If you are weak-hearted, go and stay in your house. Or go and sing your psychopan songs so that you are fat or whatever is done to you. Let that be done to you. But leave us alone. Those of us who are sick of this regime, let us leave us to do whatever we need to do. Huh? None of We have not called for you to come. If you don't have the heart and the courage to be a part of this struggle, stay out. If you don't have the heart to be a liberator, stay out. People of South Sudan are capable of removing this regime without you. So you members of the armed forces, you members of the armed forces, you need to think twice. Look, armies across Africa, what they are doing, they are waking up. They are tired of their countries being destroyed by useless political leaders. And here you are in South Sudan, just over the time being moved around as if you are like, you know, madman. Huh? You have destroyed yourself. This military of South Sudan, you military of South Sudan, every single time. Why is it you people are just there, are just there singing psycho psychopathic songs, praising Salvaqir, and, 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 and his group that are destroying the nation. Huh? You don't see even captains. They are doing their job. Look at West Africa. They are doing their job. Huh? And you make fun of West African. They have courage. Where is the courage? Where is the courage in our military? Where is the courage in the national security? National security is the most useless institution. They're only good at destroying South Sudan. 
They're only good at arresting innocent South Sudanese people, at disappearing their own people. They're incapable of protecting the nation. They're incapable of making sure the citizens actually are liberated. Why must you fear people that are useless, people that are only there to protect a dictator that has destroyed the nation? Can you fear such people? Why? Why fear those people? Huh? Why? You cannot fear them. These are people that are completely useless. We only respect people that care about the nation. Those who don't care about the nation, we have no time for them. We have no time completely for them. So I want you, the members of the armed forces, think about your own situation. You think this is for Peter Biar? Huh? This is not for Peter Biar. And a bunch of you who are talking, Peter Biar, yeah, you are a leader. Did I tell you that I want to be a leader? Huh? When? When did I tell you that I want to be a leader? Me, my main interest is to make sure that South Sudan move forward. It's not about me, Peter Biar, becoming a leader. I don't, it doesn't matter I become a leader or not. That is not an issue. That is not an issue at all. All I want is South Sudan being run by capable hands. And there are a lot of people of South Sudan that are competent, that are capable of leading this nation so that we can be proud of this country. It doesn't have to be Peter Biar. If my legacy become just simply helping to remove Salvakir, that is enough for me. That is enough. That is enough. Huh? That is enough. Don't come and threaten me about becoming a leader. Who told you that I wanted to be a leader? My interest is to make sure South Sudan move forward. South Sudan is not, uh, is not lacking leaders. There are so many leaders among my generation. How many? So many leaders. I did not go to Harvard so that I can become president of South Sudan. I didn't go to Cambridge so that I become president of South Sudan. Who told you I did that so that I can become president of South Sudan? That is not the, the, the reason. South Sudan is not lacking leaders. But South Sudan is being destroyed because of one individual. And people are so afraid because people are being blackmailed. Because if you take on Salvakir, there are people that think that they are majority and they will not vote for you. Who, who told them that I wanted to, them to vote for me? Yeah? When did I ask anybody to vote for me? You people, this is about our country, about this nation. It's about future generation. All of us, we are walking dead men. I hear people are very upset because somebody is a walking dead man. All of us are walking dead men. It's not about any single individual. All of us are walking dead men. Why are people afraid? Haven't millions of people died in South Sudan? Every single day we watch people dying. You think those people, their lives don't matter? And they are dead. And each, every one of us is going to die. Time is going to come so that we will die. Personally, since the days I was in Red Army, I've been saying that I am living on a bonus, bonus time. Because I accept my mortality. I know one day, one time, my time will come. And I will be very happy to accept it. And I will be happy to join my Mecca. Do you think I fear death? I don't. So, when somebody said he's a walking dead man, people, hey, he's not a walking dead man? What is he? Every single person is a walking dead man. So, my people, let us not be afraid. Everyone is going to die. Huh? Kidid will die. Point blank, that is it. I, Peter Biar, will die. My time will come, I will die. Every single one of you will die. Your time will come and you will die. That is it. That is how we are in this world. That is how we found it. And that is how we are going to leave it. So you, my people, let us not allow ourselves to be blackmailed. You think I'm doing this because I want power? Power for what? What I want is to live in freedom. I can be happy living as a farmer in my village and farming. I can be happy teaching in high school or in primary school or wherever. But I want to make sure that this country is run by competent people. I want to make sure that people are not victimized simply because they are expressing themselves. This country has cost people life. I lost a lot of people, 17 uncles, during the liberation of South Sudan. Do you think those people were not precious? Do you think they are more, I am more precious than them? 
No. If it is brilliant, many of them are way brilliant than me. Huh? It is handsome. You have not even seen some of my uncles who have died. Some of the most handsome people in the world. Why did they die? They die so that we can be blackmailed by idiots? Huh? No. We cannot accept that nonsense. People, I am not doing this because I want to be president of South Sudan. I want to, I'm doing this to make sure South Sudan is free. That is it. When John Garang fought for 21 years, did he become president of South Sudan? He died. But he fought to make sure that South Sudan was liberated. That is his legacy. And that is what matters. It's not about position. That is not what matters. Position is not important. So those of you who are blackmailing me with nonsense, I want to tell you, people, I'm not doing this because I want to be leader of South Sudan. That is not the point. South Sudan is not lacking leaders. Look at the, even the, the generation, those who are, were liberators. How many leaders are there? So many of them. They are leaders. Any one of them can take this country forward. Yeah? Any one of them can take this country forward. It doesn't have to be Peter Biar. So if my legacy becomes simply because I help just even one bit to make sure that this dictator called Salva Kiir is removed, that is enough for me. I will be more than happy. I will be more than happy to retire from this politics. But you, can come, you cannot come and tell me nonsense. Hey, we will not vote for you. Did I ask you to vote for me? Who did I ask among you to vote for me? Did I ask any one of you? I check up for the right socket. Just lie low, wake, low, wake. Pan, can it? I check on your eye. Coin, coin up. A lot of people have died for this country. A lot of people have died. Even go in Juba, you see a lot of young people, young boys who are 20, 25, who have lost their legs. The whole Matyanganyor is finished. Why did they die? You won't have cake, Matyanganyor. One. Leg a bay. You won't have cake. Eh, kena pa na? Kena kek? Kwa chi lupa kaya black mail, kalam farik saket. Nye ka nang randit. Randit wow. Randit yo. Yat ke ya kun. Ewe ya randit. Kwa chi ka po the right. So you, the members of the armed forces, you are supposed to protect the nation. You are supposed to protect the Republic of South Sudan. That is your duty. That is the duty that the constitution given you. That is the reason you take oath. So make sure that you perform your duty. Make sure that you serve this republic. You are not there to protect one individual. That one individual is going to die. Whether people want to hear it or not, he will die. One day, one time. Every one of us will go. But the nation will remain. The people of South Sudan will remain. The people of South Sudan will remain. People of South Sudan have been there from the beginning of time. And they will always be there. What we are doing is not even for us. It's not even for the present generation. It's for the future generation. Look now what is happening in, uh, in Paloj. Any one of you that have visited the oil field, if you visit the oil field, waste is dumb everywhere. Waste is dumb everywhere. It has polluted the land. It has polluted the water. It has polluted everything. Our people are dying like flies in the oil field. They are being destroyed. It has entered the food system. Children are being born with deformities. Eh? When you see them, unless if you are a heartless person, but if you have a heart, if there is a heart that beat within your heart, then you know what is happening in this country is a tragedy. And if you are afraid, this nation is being destroyed and you, you want to tell us that there is an elder that needs to be respected? You see what is happening in the oil field every single day? Even the birds. Huh? Even if you read the Bible, when God created the man, he told the man that he's the custodian of what God has created. If you go to the oil field and see what is happening, does that make you proud that there is a liberator, there is an elder? Just see those pictures. Huh? Visit. If you have time, visit. Go to Paloj. Go and see with your, I went, I cried when I went there. This is our nation, beautiful land, destroyed, water, destroyed, everything destroyed. 
And you want to come and tell us that there is an elder that needs to be respected? Respected for what? For doing what? What exactly has this elder done for us to, 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 to respect him? For destroying the nation? This is the nonsense that we are not going to accept. So, members of the armed forces, you cannot just be there cutting down the trees. Now you have made the whole country to be a desert. And why is the nation made to be a desert? Because you people are not paid, and instead of you dealing with the situation, you are busy cutting down the trees. You are not even planting the trees. You are cutting down the trees so that you can feed yourself. You want to blame this situation on who? Who do you want to blame? This is a nation that is blessed with resources, oil resources, gold resources. Oh, the land is full with resources. The land is fertile. This is a nation that can have enormous abundance, but is subjected to poverty. Why? Because you, the military, has been used to oppress the people of South Sudan. And you yourself are being oppressed, and you don't understand. You think it's the people of South Sudan who are talking like bitter beer that are the problem. Huh? What is your purpose in this nation? You become only used to kill your own citizen. Huh? If there is a civil war, you are deployed, you go to Pashala with a gunship, you go and kill innocent civilians. Is that your job? While the land is being taken by Kenyans and by Ugandans and by the Sudanese, why are you not defending the nation if you are a, a strong military of South Sudan? Eh? I O the Nuere, you go and kill your own citizen. This is what you are good at. What a shameful military. You people need to wake up. You need to wake up and you need to be loyal to the nation. Not loyal to individual. Loyal to the nation. We by Areche, we die, we die. We do really what you some of you are still when in a what you kid tawa and talk wrong. We could you tie your wage. Behind the girl, girl behind you. What is this? What is this uh, leadership uh, doing for you? How is it helping you? How is it feeding your families? Is it feeding you? Is it even respecting you? Do you even have respect and honor in this re regime? The guys that came from Congo, the the battalion that went to Congo, they were the only battalion among all the battalions from East Africa that were not getting their salaries. They were there, they saw how a proper military is treated. The armies from Kenya, from Uganda, from Rwanda, from wherever, from Burundi, all of them were being treated with dignity. They have their meals, they have their food, they have their salaries on time. Were you getting your salaries when you were in Congo? Were you getting anything? And you are here to come and tell us that, eh, tell us what? You people, you need to know what is your purpose. You need to know what is your purpose. Instead of defending nonsense. This country is for all of us. This country must move forward. Those of us who are fighting key regime, we are not doing it because we are selfish individuals. We are not doing this because we want leadership, because we want money. No, that is not the point. We want this nation to be free. We want to make sure the young people of South Sudan are invested in, that these young people of South Sudan have future. And if our legacy, our legacy is simply to make sure that South Sudan is free, that is enough for us. Millions of people died so that South Sudan is free. Don't you think those people were brilliant? Don't you think those, and those millions that have died could have gone to Harvard, could have gone to Oxford, could have gone to Cambridge? They could have gone wherever. I knew people from my, my own Red Army, eight men, who were much, much smarter than me. But they died. They died before their time for this nation. Those of us who are alive, we should be thinking about them. We should be thinking about their lives. Their lives were precious. Was precious to their families, was precious to them, was precious to their clan. We cannot abandon them because we want to be a psychopaths of key regime. So if you have become afraid, if you are afraid to challenge Kir, that is your business. You cannot call yourself opposition. There are people, oh, we used to support you, now we... You, no, don't tell me nonsense. I don't want you to support me as individual called Peter Biar. I want you to support Republic of South Sudan. Don't support me. 
support South Sudan, support free South Sudan, a liberated South Sudan. That is it. I don't want to be president of South Sudan. I want to live in a free South Sudan. That is my ultimate aspiration. I want to live in a free country, whether as a civilian or as a farmer or a cattle keeper, I want to live in a free country. That is it. This nation is not lacking people that can lead it. But people have accepted to be blackmailed. People are told, hey, if you do this, we will not vote for you. Who, who, who said that you, these people must vote for you? Huh? My people, we, I cannot be blackmailed. I cannot be blackmailed completely. Cannot accept nonsense. Hey. Who, who said that I want to be a leader of this country? I want to see a free South Sudan. There are so many leaders in this country, among my generation. Millions of leaders are there. Any one of them today can take this country forward. And I will support any of them. But I cannot support Salva Kiir. Someone who has destroyed nation. Someone who divide people. Arming one clan to go and fight another clan. Even within his own people are were up. Huh? Where do you think a Pungirthi get a uh, weapon? Where do you think uh, a war get weapon? All the, are there weapons made in Warab? Where do they think where do you think they come from? They come from this government. And this is what you are going to support because he's from your village? You want to support him because he's from your village? Even by the way, my uncle, Makwenluet, is my maternal uncle. Huh? I cannot support nonsense. Do you think I support this regime? I support any person who is in this regime. My own father is a general in the, in, the, in the military. And this is the military that has completely forgot the purpose of a military in a society. They are supposed to protect the nation. They are supposed to protect the people. They are supposed to protect women and children. When you see what is happening to our women, our girls, our children, you weep. But people have become so heartless. They, it's all about eating. You find something that you can eat and then you, 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 you are happy. Do you think by eating alone, if you eat alone, that this country will be okay? That this is going to make you happy? Do you think the pollution now is happening, is Dingapadang today, that is being wiped out by the oil pollution? Do you think it will stop with Dingapadang? It will affect every single one of us. It will, pro it will affect all of us. It will destroy our land. It will go into the soil, huh? is go into the water, our beautiful Nile, all that fish is being polluted. Many years coming from now, you will see what the impact will be. And you think this, we are doing this because we want to be leaders. Who told you that I want to be a leader of South Sudan? Did I ask any one of you to vote for me? So my people, this nation cannot be allowed to be destroyed by individuals. And those of us who are not interested in anything, we are going to be calling out all this nonsense. So I want you, those of you who are brave, those of you who are committed, those of you who dream for a better South Sudan, do not allow anyone to blackmail you. We are not doing this because we want to be masters of South Sudan. God created us. We are our own masters. We don't need to lord over anybody. We don't need to be called bandit, janabu, all these nonsense that they call themselves in Juba. Do you think I dream of any of those, of those titles? Whatever title I have is a title that I work hard for. I don't need a title where people are degreed in. I can only accept a title that I work hard for. That is it. Title that God Almighty gave me. So those of you who are brave, I want you to continue. Salva Kiir, we are removing him. Whether he is Matokrab, like it or not, we are removing him. And 2024 is the year we are going to remove him. And we cannot be told an elder uh, nonsense around it. We cannot accept that shit. So, my people, let us double our efforts. Let us unite ourselves and let us make sure that we are able to make sure these guys remove. If that alone become our legacy, is enough legacy. We can be proud of that. And let those who want leadership, let them come. They can go and be leaders. The rest of us will be happy with a free, liberated South Sudan. And we are doing it in 2024. So I want to say again,
those of you who are brave, continue. Use whatever means you can to make sure we get rid of this regime. If you are a bishop, continue praying. If you are Benny Beth, I, you know our thing, continue doing your thing. If you are a soldier, continue doing your thing. If you are a Toronto boy or a nigger, do your things. We are making sure this guy is removed. 2024 is the year we are removing it. That is what we are fighting for, and that is the legacy that we want to, to keep in this country called South Sudan. So my people, don't let anyone blackmail you. Even someone want to threaten you. Do you think people don't die in this earth? Anyone who is alive is not made of metal. Huh? People threaten people. Do you think the, the guns are only made for uh, supporters of Salva Kiir? The guns are for everybody. If we want to turn this country upside down, we can do it anytime. Anytime we can turn this country upside down. So we cannot be blackmailed with nonsense. Huh? There's nobody who is made of metal. Anyone can be killed. Look at the history of the world. Political assassination are there. Do you think we don't know? Why do you think we have not done it? Because we have not decided to do it. But if we decide to do it, we can do it in broad daylight. Broad daylight, we can do this. So, my people, let no one blackmail you. We, can, we are capable of so much more. Huh? And let nobody th threaten us. You will find out what we are capable. So, let us continue. You people who are brave, we have decided to make sure South Sudan is free. Who are tired of being country being subjected to poverty. A country that has become a country of psychopaths. If you are sick of that, I want you to continue doing what needs to be done. And this is the nation that we want to take back. We want to make sure that this country is a country that our martyrs can be proud of, a country that citizens of South Sudan who have lost their lives can be proud of. We are continuing and we are going to be turning up the heat on this regime. Every single day we will be doing it. So let nobody walk like a scorpion and want to tell us nonsense. If he's, a, if, he's a, if he's an elder, take him to your village. And you members of the organized forces, wake, wake. We abuse. We abuse. We We abuse. We abuse. We in London, when I wake, in Gabua support, which by when you live, die, pan can I pan to go nigh? All of us will be jal, tied up again. They were jalapeno. When I look at jal, so what? You walk the first person, jalapeno, then. No, we jal, you quite go to the Do you think we know a book of a coach, you were jal, then yeah? No, we'll continue. What do we do to a young grand of you? Idi tu jana yeto wa ija. Kwa kuka ube ben ku leke. Kula bai tuing. Yonge we bai right. Kuwe die. Chake die wari kun East Africa. Kren West Africa. Kalo eke. Wari kun captain. Ra even Samuel Do on domain by Liberia. Eh cha witch. With koi ke tiye ku tuk. Eleven people they were able to do a coup. What is it? Bunch of you are there just crying every single day, begging people for money, going to cut trees. That is what, what you are going to be doing? For how long? Who do you think is going to feed you? You don't want your government to feed you, and you want to become a burden on the regular citizens who are already tired of their own challenges that they are facing. Open your eyes. See what your age men are doing in West Africa. So my people... Let us not be blackmailed. We are not doing this because we want to be leaders. Let nobody tell us that we want to be leaders. No. Who told you that I want to be a leader of South Sudan? Hmm? Who told you? What I want to see is a free South Sudan. A country that I can be proud of. A country that I can call home. And if my legacy becomes just making a small contribution to removing this dictatorship... 
I will be so happy. That will be enough for me. So thank you, my people. Let us continue. We are getting rid of this uh, regime. 2024 is the year we are getting rid of them. And we are going to use whatever we are calling our ancestral spirits. We are calling even the foreign gods, Muhammad, uh, Buddha, whatever, uh, Jesus, all these guys, we are calling them. And they are going to support us, plus our own spiritual uncle. Those who don't know me, my name is Biar. Huh? Biar Manyaro. Biar Kuror. That is it. That is who I am. I ran Gujian Club, Ping a Biar Yang Wealoi. So, my people, let us not be blackmailed by nonsense. We are removing this regime, and 2024 is the year we are doing it. Thank you. Please share the video. Uh, whether you are Mark Tokrap, you are a psychopath, you are a bootlicker, or whether you are a true freedom fighter, we don't care. Share the video. You comment, say whatever you want is your right. That is the country we want, country that is free, where we can all be proud of. Thank you, my people. Till the next time. Bye-bye.